looks like Nitro is going to be going Joker, so I wonder if this may be through a wrench into the, the gears of Amor's plan here. Three, two, we'll see though. One, Game go. one. Thanks. Shoutouts to Javi for all the sick transitions. I believe that was Javi. But, uh, um, I don't want to miscredit it, so uh, I'll definitely ask him next time. Anyway, so we're getting right into it here, and that, okay, so that uh, is a command grab, as you saw <laughs> coming in from me, Brawler, there. Uh, Beats shield and, uh, and is pretty similar to uh, Incineroar's side be the way you, that you launch forward, but if, if instead of uh, clotheslining your opponent, you, uh, you suplex them. So now, looks like we have the stalk already. Wow. Maybe some sus to guy coming out from Aimer there, but uh, this, uh, I'm totally blanking on the name of Arsene. Arsene, yes. Arsene has some crazy kill power. So, um, maybe that was caught Aimer a little off guard. I know sometimes when I expect not to die something to something, I don't DI and then I DI anyway. Because I want, uh, but uh, you, know, you want some time to think about what you want to do in the matchup. Uh, okay, but yeah, so... Nitro almost uh, with a big lead here and about to get Arsene again unless Gamer can close at the stock and wow. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, the last WNF I went to, uh, or uh, a few WNFs I went to uh, a few ago, this matchup did occur uh, the Joker versus. Nice counter there. Uh, Nitro's Joker versus Aimer's, uh, well, he went Sword Fighter first and then he went Gunner, and he determined that he would go Brawler the next time he played, so uh, looks like he's sticking to that game plan, but uh, he didn't do too well with any of these uh, those other choices, uh, and he seems to be struggling now as well, so uh, going into the next game, I'm wondering who is he going to pick? Uh, because he struggled with all of them. Uh, that's sort of the curse of, of dual manning, right? Is that you don't, if, if you do bad in all of the matchups, which one do you pick? Uh, but this isn't over yet. Aimer has closed out the stock. And, uh, okay, that almost killed there. But. Rage is still a thing in this game, as we always say. This character has combos. I believe Aimer has... Uh, yeah, Aimer was just telling me he believes that uh, me, Brawler, is the best of the Mii's. So, this character does... I believe this character does have some back And, um... I don't know what happened there. Well, on to the next try. Uh, I, I actually don't really know how that counter works. I'm sure if Aimer comes back on commentary, he can enlighten us. But it looks like uh, either he was facing the wrong way, uh, which is not how most counters work, or the uh, active frames on the counter were over, expired, if you will. So. The big decision for Aimer is he going to stick with this character? I think you're already committed at this point. Having to like switch gears is probably not a good idea, and because he has uh, tried the other characters in this matchup against this exact player, he probably uh, you know is going to have about the same results. So, I could be wrong though, so let's see what he decides to do. Nitro sticking it out with Joker, uh, but Aimer is thinking about it. Sword Fighter. Who, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Looks like we have Gunner. Um, I think, I mean, this is the one that Gamer plays the most, I believe, so uh, also I, I feel like it's a solid pick, but 
My hopes are not high. Or, or my, uh, I, I don't know if Aimer is going to be able to do this, but he's already started out really strong here, putting on a solid 42%. Um, he's going to do grab some combos. Okay, and Arsene already coming out and turning the tables here. Um, but this is really where you want a Joker right now. He's in disadvantage when he has Arsene. It's so important when you put him in disadvantage. Because you can bleed that meter, you can put all that damage in. Um, and although Aimer is losing right now, he's doing a lot better than him. Uh, but Arsene's already almost out with all those counters. Doesn't matter because that was so smart there from Aimer. Throwing out the bomb, waiting for it to get countered, but baiting him into doing it and uh, getting that up smash to close out the stock. Uh, Aimer, okay, so he got some damage there, but at the same time he also <laughs> filled the meter and uh, now he's in a really bad spot right now. Okay, yeah, we're seeing a lot of closer game here. Uh, maybe I was wrong to throw at it to say uh, that hasn't got this. Uh, okay, goes for F smash. Looks like he's gonna get punished for that, uh, but not too hard. He's back off stage again. Okay, that's the up smash. Uh, nice landing there from Nitro coming down. Just, uh, Patience goes under and throws out the last match. And yeah, Nitro's getting a lot of He's managing to get these counters and get our set a lot in this game. It could be an exciting factor just how often he manages to get our set out. But uh, I think a lot of what Aimer wants to go for, he just has to risk giving him that beater, unfortunately. Aimer taking his time there. And then uh, shooting out that hard shot to land, uh, catching Nitro off guard there. Okay, waits out the counter, nice. He knows Nitro's been getting a lot off of that and uh, might get greedy there. Uh, okay, Nitro goes for it all, goes for it all as we say, and by all, one slot. Uh, but uh, that back air gonna clean it up. Uh, gets up, gets up high there. Gets the kill. Uh, Alright. Get up attack. The the worst best option. Alright. So open flames and the Nair and then the up air. Send the nitro off. And oh no! That was the kill right there, but he fell out of the But okay. Tart shot gonna kill him anyway. Hammer got robbed, but he managed to get it back, to bring it back, and um, we've got an even game. Oh, well, looks like Vance rolling in. Is he just here to laugh at me, or is he going to be hopping on? <laughs> That'd be mean if I were laughing at you. I saw you, I was like right over there, and I was like, all right, hold on, he's by himself. I know I said today was going to be my day off, but uh, I'll get on, I'll get on. I can't, I can't let somebody suffer by himself. I I've don't done. Mind. I think this is some good practice, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Actually, I learned a lot of my like communication sometimes through like solo commentary. That's what I tell people. I did it for like a year oh at God. like a smaller local. Yeah, Fire and Dice. Shout out to them, by the way. Um, I did it for like a year, just, just solo commentary, and I kind of was like able to watching. I actually learned the game Smash Four back in the day by watching Nico play because he's always playing Grand Finals. Yeah. And commenting by myself <laughs> so i was able to learn the flow of the game watching nico play because back then in shulk in smash 4 his like monado arts lasted longer and they were a lot weaker this one is very reminiscent of like everybody's heard the story like this shulk is more of a top tier shulk and then last game shulk was like a low tier shulk yeah yeah it's changed how the characters worked a little bit too i think you know? yeah because like, you used to be able to go to sh shield and then you'd live till like oh you know 200, 200 230 but because it's so much shorter, it's not as viable to do that because you could kind of switch between speed and uh, like shield and yeah. camp your opponents out. Exactly. So Nico's big game plan back in the day was like switch to shield, then to jump, to jump around, then to speed, and then to shield. <laughs> he would like 
this man would just run around until I, he frustrated his opponent, find an opening, and then cheat somebody with rage at 270. <laughs> it the worked. good though. old days. Yeah. But I always tell people, Nico was always a top player without a top tier in Smash 4. That was his biggest problem. He was a top player without a top tier. Now that becoming an ultimate, he is a top player with a top tier now. And you can, it definitely shows through. Uh, but enough about introductions of my, myself and Nico here. Uh, it's going to be Nitro and Aimer. 1-1 one, yeah. one from what I'm saying here. Uh, yeah, I so, oh. I did, sorry, I did speak to Aimer earlier. He was telling me he thinks Brawler is actually the best of the three. Yes, he actually went Brawler first in this game. Um, and he got three stops. Yeah. Uh, so he switched to Gunner and he, he won the next game. Gunner is definitely more, <laughs> for sure, like something Aimer is used to. Yeah, def definitely. He was actually, if I'm not mistaken, he was like a top gunner in SoCal and also a top gunner in general. Uh, one of the things in Smash Bros. 4 was Gunner had like, oh, that stopped him from his recovery. Um, he was too low. And if he could get perfect direction on air dodge. So Gunner in Smash 4 was awesome before there with the direction and the movement it would give you. But in this game, it kind of rolled that back. And now Gunner is definitely more of a zoner than like a cross up, mix up zoner. Yes, and what Amory used to love that about this, this character. Like, you teleport everywhere almost. Yeah. Forward air would send you, like, across the stage. And you can still use it like that somewhat, but it's been nerfed a lot. Yeah. Um, so far, what Nigel's doing is honestly kind of keeping in and out of Amory's zone, so he's able to just move around and then would take aim. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's, he knows what's going on, man. He's not feeling it. <laughs> well, I mean, I feel like if you can take a game from someone, it, it, it's, a, it's a big vote of confidence because you know that you're able to beat this person. Yeah. Uh, it's, it doesn't seem like Mission Impossible. It seems like, okay, hold on. I, I can definitely fall uh, into the arms of an angel. So maybe it's not Amor's Day today. No time to waste. But we definitely could see him. <laughs> take some strides in the future. And he's what not, he's, is he yelling about <laughs> I, I have no idea, man. 